Hi you guys in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to connect your diesel heater fuel pump straight into the existing uh, Mercedes Sprinter uh, fuel line the, the ex uh, auxiliary fuel line so uh, of course in the kit you're gonna find your fuel pump here and you will find the uh, other plug that is that will be connected to the fuel pump and of course the wires I already run from the heater to here where the um, under right under uh, beneath the behind the driver under under the car here that is the where your your uh, fuel tank is and that that is where the auxiliary uh, line is going to be and you will find and most of the kit you will find these uh, hoses different size of hoses and clamps okay the uh, sometimes you don't you're not going to use all of them uh, this particular one it's going to be just a single uh, hookup there's no split so uh, this is the kit uh, that came with the kit with the clamp two clamps here and this is the uh, the host that I'm going to use to connect the uh, auxiliary line and onto your fuel pump so let's get under the car the van I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about so here's my fuel line from the uh, main unit the heater I run it inside the loom here all the way from where the heater is installed and here's my uh, fuel pump wires all right and here is your auxiliary outlet right here so sometimes you see if the van comes with the heat booster it will be right here and then it will connect to that one uh, if that's the case you will need a split to uh, a three-way split from here to the tank and then here to the, the um, booster in this case it's a single so if you don't have the the uh, connector for for this size, okay. Sometimes the kit comes with a, a hose that is a big one side is big, and then the reducer to this size. You can use that, and if not, if it's a one straight size, you can just cut right here and then use that uh, hose to connect. So I'm gonna ch double check the kit again to see if we have that so we don't have to cut this okay lucky me today I found one it didn't come with the kit but uh, I have the uh, leftover extra kit so this is how it looks like you can see this size is larger okay reduced to a, a smaller I'm not sure what size this is though but uh, yeah it's gonna be for this size so what I'm gonna do is take it off right here just the cover and then insert that to there and connect to the, the line right there then I go ahead put a clamp put a clamp here now next is I'm going to identify how my fuel pump goes so right here you can see this the, the word fuel and there's an arrow going that way so this is the inlet this is outlet okay and this is my fuel pump holder right here I'm going to uh, insert that first okay like so and these are just the cap you can remove ok 
usually because these are tested so it's there's already uh, fuel in it okay now I'm going to go ahead try where am I going to install that pump so as you're supposed to install it 15 degrees angle so usually best spot is right there okay like that and then this is the outlet I'm going to cut piece of this hose right here that will uh, enough to connect from here into here and then the rest this is the outlet that will connect to here now in the kit you should also find two other small hoses like these there and those will be for connecting one from this side and one from this side okay and don't forget the clamp okay you can see now I I clamp this down and also hook up this short piece right here that is my inlet and then next I'm going to connect my outlet side so that if I screw this down I don't have a hard time reaching inside to screw it so gently make sure you don't kink or bend the hose and it should fit really tight all right that's good enough clamp it again all right now you can see nicely curved right here there's no bending okay and I'm ready to bolt this down to the frame this is screw that came with the kit and then this side will go into here the inlet out from the tank into the pump Okay, now one more connection on this side. Maybe it's too long. Okay, cut a little bit more just to fit into there. You can feel it doesn't go anymore. Okay, you can see also nice and curved, no bending. Last piece is these two wires and the plug in, you guys. Uh, it doesn't matter which side goes in, and it should go in only one way. Just make sure it clicks. Oh, there we go.
but you still can pull it out it's not right okay you have to feel the you have to feel that click and you can see through here okay and then it goes only one way into the plug here I want to make sure that these will be coiled up and then uh, tie wrap everything down only one way this way and there okay all right I'm going to tie everything up nicely and this is it this is how you connect the fuel pump part of you, your diesel heater. Thank you so much for watching, guys.